Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, last time I saw you guys, I think my beard wasn't um, as long, uh, but here it is. It's the quarantine beard. I haven't seen the barber in who knows how long, but besides the point, today we're gonna be taking a look at a pretty cool product. This is the Pictech PC173. This is a gaming mechanical keyboard that I've been using for, I'd say now about a solid month of gaming and kind of like, of course, general use, just browsing the internet and stuff like that. And I wanted to share my thoughts and my opinions with you guys today. I will say this is a sponsored review, uh, but in no way does it alter my thoughts or my opinions in regards to the board. Okay, but with that being said, let's hop right into the video. Let's get right into the good stuff. So let's hop right into the design of the board. This is a gaming mechanical keyboard. It does feature RGB LEDs as well uh, that can be customized with software. Of course, it is a USB plug and play. And you can change your RGB settings without the need of software. But in this case, of course, it does offer it. It also offers onboard memory, which I think it's pretty cool. So whatever settings you had on previously, it'll remember those settings. Now we'll know it's something that people ask quite often, is it compatible with PC, Xbox, and PS4? Yes, it's compatible with all consoles and PC, of course. It's labeled as a shockproof keyboard as the front plate is made out of aluminum and the back is a hard sort of plastic. So it does feel heavy and durable at touch. And I'd say it also has pretty good weight to it. So it gives you more of that premium feel. On the front, it features a full length keyboard. On the top right, you're gonna have the scroll wheel, which you can use to quickly adjust your system volume settings, which I think comes pretty handy as I use it quite often. And on the left side, you have four multimedia keys, which again, do come very in handy when listening to music. As personally, it's something I do every single day that I'm on my computer. And on the back side of the board, you have two kickstands that elevate your board, gives a pretty slight elevation that to be honest, in my personal opinion, I don't really enjoy too much. Kind of makes my wrist hurt a little bit, but again, that's just my personal preference. I do like to keep the kickstands down. Uh, but this is pretty much a standard for me on every single board that I use. You might like it, so that might be good for you. And on every single corner here of the board at the very bottom, you do have grips that hold the board down pretty well. So if you're not using the kickstands, you won't have to worry about your board moving around a little bit too much. This board comes with 104 keys that are equipped with double shot injection molded keycaps to ensure the letters on the keycaps do not fade. They also have sort of a concave feel to them, which when you press down on the keys themselves, it feels as though the sides hug your fingers, which I personally think is perfect for when I game. They also offer sort of a grippy feel when you first get it out of the box. But at this point, about a month in, my WAS keys, which are my most used for gaming, they have kind of smooth and over. So you should expect that as well when you get your board. All right, next, let's get into my favorite part of the board, the RGB LEDs. This keyboard features a wide selection of features to customize the way you want your keyboard to look as far as the RGB LED goes. From the boards itself, you can change the colors, speed, brightness, and color mode. And with the software, you can do all of that a little tiny bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and list the 14 different color modes which you can customize your board to. Uh, so here they are. One of my favorite reasons to use the software is because of its coastal setting, which you can customize each individual key to whatever color you choose. It also gives you a color wheel tool that allows you to choose the best color you like. I will say the lighter colors always come out as this really light shade of pink and never the true color you choose on the wheel, which is kind of unfortunate because in a way, it defeats the purpose of the tool. Otherwise, the colors are bright and vibrant and the darker ones are always true to the colors you choose. And the software does come via a disc in the box, which let's face it, it's 2020. How many people have disc drives on their PC? I personally did not. So I went ahead, looked up software online and I have it down in the description below for you guys. So you guys don't have to search around for it because honestly, it was kind of hard to find it. But anyways, I found it. It's down below for your needs.
Again, huge shout out to Vixing on Instagram for sending this keyboard out for me to review. Uh, I really have enjoyed my time with it and will be continuing to use it, uh, especially when it comes to my daily job as I need a full size keyboard for it. And this one is perfect and has a perfect RGB for me. And I hope you guys found this video informative, especially if you guys were on the market for a new board. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications on for any future content here on the channel. With that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.